Hello. Hi. Okay. Hey everybody, um, Mike and Megan here, and really? we're home. And once again, if you've been watching our Mexico videos, you'll know that on the very last day, in the very last activity, Mike's phone died. And so we're going off of all the footage that was on my camera, or, but most of it was on Mike's, Which or our phone, my phone. And so this video will have to be interjecting a lot. I did start the video on mine, but I just wanted, we wanted to give you the heads up that we're gonna be talking a lot throughout just to kind of bring it all together so that it makes sense. Also, I'm gonna do a quick COVID-19 disclaimer. Once again, we've had some people who are nervous about us going. We were COVID-free going to Mexico. We had a test the day before we left. We were COVID-free at that point. And now it's been over a week that we've been home and for those who thought, well, maybe you got a false negative, we never got it. We never had it. And, never none had of, COVID. and no one from our family, because we had, we met our my family there, which we don't really show much because we didn't get any on your on your camera. But, anyways, most of no them, are, a lot of them are vaccinated. Yeah. So one of them is a doctor too. Just so you know, no issues. Okay, let's we'll jump to the next. Roll part. the tape. Right. Today we are done in Valladolid, and I have to tell you that I've stayed at a lot of hotels, and most hotels you can are great and they're trying but you know there's little things but this place very impressive guys. Les Mouches. check them out this is not sponsored it's not an ad but you should go check them out it was beautiful the food was incredible um the breakfasts were so amazing and they were included in the price of our room everything is beautiful the beds were comfortable everybody was really nice and Valladolid is a sweet little city that I think if you're going to come to the Yucatan, you're going to Cancun or Cozumel or Playa del Carmen, come on over here. It's only, you know, like an hour and a half away and experience a little bit more authentic Mexico. And also prices are más pequeño, uh, very cheap. So come on over and check it out and stay here. It's like a few blocks from the square and I really recommend it. Okay. Mike and I got to the airport a little bit ago after dropping our car off with no trouble. We ate a pile of nachos together just because we needed to eat and that was quick. And now we're getting to our shuttle. We're getting on our shuttle and we're going to fly a car, Royal something, hideaway, hideaway which sounds very royal. And um, yeah, it should be nice. Excited to see the beach. Once we got to the airport, we got a shuttle that took us out to our resort. resort that we were going to be staying at. It was in Playa Car, which if you haven't been to uh, Playa del Carmen, it's actually a little gated community within Playa. Playa Carmen, and yeah. it's like got like gates at both ends. And then it's just like resort, 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 resort for like just several all miles. Long. Yeah, um, And some like homes and stuff with paths throughout. So we got and, to Playa Car. And the resort was called Royal Hideaway at play a mm. car or something like that. Yeah, it was Ooh. an adult only resort, which really just meant a bunch of old people. Old people and those little kids. It was quiet and it was nice, but that night was kind of lonely for us. I think resorts are funner when you have a group. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of wandered around the resort and- We did go to the beach. We all, There's only one quick clip of the beach at the end of this whole video. Mm. So sorry, you don't sorry. get to see that, but it, it was pretty, it was windy the whole time. So the water was a little bit churned up, but. And then the next morning, we um, Mike's family was going to be coming the next day after we got there. And um, before they got there, uh, we went ahead and went out to somewhere called Shellha, spelled X E L H A, apostrophe H A. Yeah. And it's like um, kind of like a they have a lot of these down there, but it's like almost like a Disney park, but for like natural things. And so Shellha has like a river through the mangroves and it has a really pretty bay that's connected to the ocean. So there's no animals like trapped in there. They can come and go. You can um, snorkel in there, but without the waves, uh, there's a bunch of stuff. So we're gonna go right to us arriving at Shellha. Shell Shellha. We've arrived at Shellha. 
getting ready to go in. We'll talk to you on the other side once we're in. So we just got into Shell Hall. It's beautiful. Um, Mike and I look like a couple of sad puppies this morning at breakfast, I think. Because we... We don't know how to operate We are not um, resort people. <laughs> but as soon as we got out of the resort and started, we got a, a, a taxi out. It got out, like, out of Playa Car. Our spirits started to lift. We just realized that's not our style of travel at all. We like to get a little dusty. We like to be in a country... Um, we're not really country club type people or I don't know. So apparently we're theme park people today. Well, whatever. we are today because it's beautiful and controlled. Oh, there's a dolphin. Oh, look at those beautiful parrots. Oh man, I you love birds. Get a picture with those. I love birds so much. So, um, look, there's a dolphin. Beautiful. Look at those beautiful dolphins. So, Mike and I were joking. It's not really a theme park, but it kind of is. So they, it's oh, like a natural the theme park. <gasps> Whoa, you're right over there. We gotta stop talking oh my gosh, incredible. Um, and so this whole thing connects to a bay, which connects to the ocean. Um, but I don't think they can get out. So I know that everybody has different levels of comfort when it comes to animals and captivity. So I will let you draw whatever conclusions you like but look at hey baby you see that right there i guess we should go down to where they're doing the show because yeah, that's probably I'll more impressive like, jump around. Mm, what beautiful animals dolphins are what's nice about shell ha though is they have this they have a lot of activities so that you can experience the beauty of the fish and the water but not as um, no, raw no, as going no, just no, out no, into no, the no, open no, ocean. No, they have like a, a bay. I don't know if it's man-made or what, but it's full of coral. You can, and it's totally still beautiful water. They have a river that goes through a mangrove forest that you can swim in and things. Um, but it is like, it's like Disney World at the same time. So it's really nice. Anyways, we're, I'm really excited to go snorkeling. Oh. Whoa! Yeah. I just missed it. Let's see if they'll do it again. Woo. When Mike and I were in Hawaii, we paid to swim with the dolphins. And I didn't want to do something like this where they were like in captivity and we went and swam with them. And then, but they were like, okay, what we're going to do is going to get on a boat and we're just going to go and try to find some dolphins. And when we see them, you're going to jump in and swim with them. And I was like, what? are the chances of swimming with dolphins and he even said like yeah sometimes we don't find them sometimes we find a couple but i don't know if you remember if you've watched that video we found an entire pod of dolphins there was like it was in this little it was, was in like a bay sort of thing. dozens of them and we just got in the water and it was the most magical experience go look at the map swimming with wild dolphins yeah anyways i'll get back to you we are all sunscreened up I accidentally went in the men's restroom and used it. I was like walking into my stall and I saw urinals. I'm like, that's weird. I guess they just do unisex <laughs> here. And I heard a man talking. I was like, oh. And came out and like right in front of me is a man at the urinal. I'm like, sorry. But anyways, dropped off all our stuff. And now we're walking through a beautiful jungle. And we're going to get in a river that heads down to that bay that we showed you guys. We're gonna get on some bikes, I think, and ride it to the, the top of where you get in the river. My phone's a little hazy, but we got our bikes, and we're gonna ride up the trail. <laughs> Mike is afraid I'm gonna fall off my bicycle, but turns out that I know how to ride a bike. So it's a nice leisurely ride in the shade, which is nice. Feels really good. <sighs> you could also take a train, but who wants to sit on a hot train with a bunch of people? We're going downhill. Oh yeah, off-roading! Whoa, oh, I'm such an adventure biker. Ooh, I'm gonna go through these trees. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. It looks fun to actually ride kind of fast. That was fun. 
did have some fun little ups and downs. Made you feel like a kid again. Now we're gonna go get in the river. Okay, here we go. family arrived uh, after yeah. we got back so, from Shellhawk. Yeah, Shellhawk was fun. We came back, my family got there, and we all had dinner together. It was great. They, that, um, that resort, they do like four course meals. Yeah. And they take the whole evening, which is really fun with the group. Yeah, it's great. It was really enjoyable. Yeah. Um, and then the next day after that, we headed to Chichen Itza, which is a Mayan, uh, like an, you know, Mayan site. site where they have a, a temple and that sort of thing. I think it's the largest Mayan site, maybe? Maybe. Is it like... It's that classic Mayan pyramid temple that you see. And you'll see it in the next clip, but that's all we have is this next clip. Um, and then I'm not throwing a photo of us there, but we went to Chichen Itza, which was great. And then after that, we went to a, another cenote with everybody. Oh, we don't Remember have any that? footage from that? All we have is a picture. You can get Carrie to send you some. I think I took one. Carrie took I some. I panned one shot. Carrie took some. We're going to put Carrie's footage in Maybe we'll get there. some of my, our sister-in-law. She might have some footage of this other cenote. I don't remember what it was called. It was beautiful. It was a lot busier, this one, than the other ones we went to. But still not too busy. But really pretty. So we'll, uh, yeah, so we'll start Chichen Itza and then we'll... Which be... I'll just tell you, if you're going to go see the Mayan sites, definitely go to the cenotes afterwards because it's, a. Uh, I think, I think I looked at the temperature and it was... 3,000 degrees. <laughs> yeah, I think it was. <laughs> Celsius. Yeah, and then you can, then when you get to the cenote, you're just like, oh, you <laughs> fall in and like, because you feel like you're like, I'm going to die. And the cenote just like restores you. So definitely, yeah. definitely cenote every day. That's my <laughs> t-shirt. Cenote every day. Okay. We walk around, you know, the southern and the eastern part of the temple. It's 100% original.
on our last full day in Mexico, which we, is this next part. Yeah, we went to Eshkaret, which is X C R A E T, which is owned by the same people that we just went to the Shellha, and it was beautiful. Um, the the main attraction is that underneath it all is like a underground river that was amazing. All right, it is very warm, but we have our life jackets and our little bags for our phones, and we are waiting for Mike's siblings and his parents, and we're about to go float the little lazy river type thing through through Eshkret. So it's very welcomed when you're here because you're so hot. lost a contact in the river from where my glasses now I just got my test and I am negative which I knew I would be in this case negative is good things I nice. also somebody out there was talking you download this app you scan in your passport your test and everything and you can just show that oh yeah at security and I, I downloaded it okay I think I actually already it's called did. Verifly I hope my phone turns back on Oh yeah, Mike's phone. What if I don't have that? You just use the paper. Oh, okay. Um, My phone's on the fritz. It's a fine. I think it just died and you can't charge it yet. But anyways, he's afraid that he killed it in the river, but oh, yeah. I think we're fine. So we're going to eat a quiet dinner together here and we were just discussing whether we're going back for the show and we think we're not going to. We don't necessarily want to pay for the taxi fare and we didn't really want to get back late and then leave early because we'd have to pack up and stuff. So I think we'll just probably get cleaned up, pack up. Yeah. Relax. Cause then we, dinners always take a while here too. I do. You're right. It's not quite. So we'll probably won't be done for, from dinner till after seven and then have a quiet evening before we head back to the kids. I really stick that in there. Feels like it's going to go down your throat. Mm-hmm. Feels like it is in your throat. <laughs> okay. All done. Negative. Yeah, what's the, Oh, come on, you sold it. Now, what's oh, cool what's is it's like a little, it looks like a pregnancy test, exactly. So it just goes across and it's negative. Um, we Negatory. knew it would be negative. The best thing you can do to not get sick is to get lots of vitamin D and to eat lots of vitamin C and socially distance. Vitamin C, S-E-A, <laughs> that's what we had. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we can safely go back into the US. We can go back. And what time is our dinner appointment? Six. We have a little less than an hour to get cleaned up. Now I'm gonna be four eyes for the rest of the trip. All right, it's our final dinner here. And it's windy, but it's nice. You just have to make sure and eat your food fast before it gets too cold. <laughs> it's it cold. Yeah. Look at the color of that water. It's amazing. Oh, good we good morning. Go hey. So we are at the airport, ready to leave with our. You have our COVID test. Yep, we got all of it. And our passports. Uh -huh. And. Well, right here. Time to go home. Yeah. There's a note on the front door, which is very cute. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. Hello. Hi. 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 Hey, thanks for holding down the fort. Oh, no you guys survived. All right, everyone's alive. 
Now you're gonna need a few days off, huh? Shower maybe. Okay, so we got home. It was awesome to have the time to go to Mexico, but more than I think any other trip in my entire life, I felt really happy to be home. To see my, see our great kids, and just the weather was really amazing. It's like 65 degrees. Yeah, we came and, home to great weather, so that was nice. And they were so happy to see us too. So it was really nice of them to do it. And I'm just so impressed that the kids held down the fort so well. It was like, they were like, we were fine. So um, probably like it's one of those movies where you're like the parents get home and it's been like insane while they're gone. And the kids are like, we're fine. <laughs> Did we ever? Like they put the last thing into place right before the parents open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Did we ever say how that actually worked? Well, the setup. The kids had my brother and his family here, and my parents, and they like took turns checking in at least once a day, coming over to actually like have eyes on the scene. But I mean, we've got a lot of Mike set up a lot of systems and, and routines so that everybody just kind of did their thing. Esther, who's eighteen in just a few weeks, and Andrew, who's sixteen, were kind of both in charge so that neither one of them felt too much pressure, and mm -hmm. we made sure that. Uh, one of them was always home, so they would trade off work schedules and stuff, but they did great. No problem. But I, even though they did great, it's not like now I'm going to be like, oh, I want to go on a million trips. Like, I just like to be home. Yeah. My parents, my kids need their parents home, so it was, I'm happy that they handled it, but. Not going to happen. Super happy time. to be home and glad that we went. It was really special for, to celebrate Mike's parents' 50th anniversary. Yeah, we had good footage of all that. Mm, all so gone. sad. And oh. also kind of a belated celebration of our 20th, though in just a few days it's our 21st, so COVID, right? right? <laughs> so anyways, we're so happy that you guys came along and um, happy to now get back to normal life and keep sharing that with you. We love you. We hope you're doing well and that, um, I don't know, I guess that's it. That's it. We'll see All ya. Right, see ya. Bye. Bye.